Hey there, this is Dan Keller, your mortgage guy. It's Friday, October 14th, 2022. I've got a really important message for you. If you're watching this, you're a past client of mine, you're a current client of mine, and you're probably a real estate agent of mine. I'm gonna share this on social media as well because today's message is very, very important. There's no secret right now. I think everyone is aware of how high mortgage rates are. And then the concern with that is that housing is pulling back. And so I want to give you some perspective. If you're a past client of mine, you've already purchased your house, you're already in your house, you probably already have a really good interest rate. Or you've worked with me in the last year, and you're waiting for mortgage rates to come down. That's one of the main reasons why I'm making this week's video. So I'm pulling back from making these weekly videos and sending them out because I got some feedback from clients. They loved seeing them, but they weren't watching them every single week. That to me means they were diluted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do almost a state of the month. Every single month, I'm just going to make a video kind of recapping what's going on in the market, but giving you a tip, still giving you a money and a mindset tip, but just not every single week. All right. This week's message or this month's message is so important because the questions that I'm getting asked right now relative to housing and mortgage rates, I need to be, I need to be able to provide data to support the questions that I'm getting asked relative to what is going on with mortgage rates. When are we going to see a break in the market? Is the housing market going to crash? Um, when's the best time to finance or purchase a home? The best way I can answer these questions right now it comes in the form of understanding inflation. So I'm going to pull up on the screen right now. Inflation rates over the United States of America over the last 50 years. What you're going to see with inflation rates is you're going to see how mortgage 30 year fixed rate mortgages have trended with inflation rates. But what you're going to see is a correlation when inflation rates go up. So do mortgage rates when inflation rates come down. So do mortgage rates. So let's hit pause right there. The Federal Reserve, we've seen the Fed raising the Fed funds rate aggressively this entire year. Why they're raising the Fed funds rate is to bring down the inflation rate. We have too high of inflation rates right now. So the Fed is working their tails off to tame or to bring down inflation. What do you think that's going to mean for 30-year fixed rates when this happens? 30-year fixed rates are going to drop as well. So Dan, when is this going to happen? I don't have a crystal ball, but I have a kind of a partial view into that crystal ball. If you were to look at it in that light, I believe that by December, November, December this year, in the next couple of months, we're going to see inflation finally recede or move in the direction that the Fed has wanted them to move. Now, Fannie Mae, I'm going to also pull up right now on the screen. Fannie Mae is predicting that in 2023, next year, by Q2, Q3, they're predicting 30-year fixed rates back into the 4% range, the fours, okay? So that's saying that they believe that the Fed is going to tame inflation and that mortgage rates will follow the downward trend in inflation by Q2 or Q3 of next year. Guys, this is data. This is what I have spent 15 years in the mortgage industry and understanding basic economics uh, will show. This proves that we're going to see some relief here in the next three to six months. If you have any questions on this, I want you to reach out to me. But in the meantime, there's a big opportunity. I'm telling home buyers right now, this is an opportunity of a lifetime to buy a home. Yeah, the interest rate's high. You know relief is on the, on the way, but you're not having to pay $100,000, $200,000 over list price right now. If you need anything, please reach out to me. I hope you're doing well. I can't wait to bring you another video next month.